hello so in this video let's put some dimensions in furniture plan views so let's go to the furniture plan and let's uh, first put some dimensions to our grid lines and let's connect maybe outer walls of my project So in here I can just show main main dimensions uh, between grid lines. Also I can put some additional dimensions inside rooms to represent the size of the room and, and how the furniture is set up according to the size. So um, I think it can be different uh, representation of dimensions for some uh, layout is also important so you can put some dimensions which represent the layout of your furniture so you can see what are the distance between tables do you have enough space for ergonomic movement in in this room uh, is it enough space for chairs uh, and and our furniture so it depends from the setup for the manufacture of furniture from ergonomics of use of furniture do you have enough space to open the doors uh, and if i have some uh, uh, casework in, in here so do i have enough space to to open doors of the casework and so on so uh, it can be different uh, dimensions different rules it depends mostly from the furniture type requirements of furniture and and uh, other stuff so in this case i just show some basic outside dimensions and for internal dimensions yeah you can put maybe some dimensions which represent room size And of course you can put dimensions for, for these rooms. Maybe maybe you can create smaller uh, plan views of different rooms in which you can put uh, uh, more dimensions which you can connect your furniture to a, a surrounding. In this case, uh, a connection to the grid lines is not important because furniture mostly is connected and uh, uh, inserted according to your walls and uh, all uh, uh, finished uh, room setup uh, and uh, connecting it to the grids it, at this moment it's not so important so i think for this example it's enough uh, yeah, you can put some dimensions here so you see if you have enough space to uh, walk through these chairs and, and, and so on.